what's going on is true boxing i don't i've been gone for a minute but um i decided to do a video just watched uh manny pacquiao versus marquez round three trilogy um and i'm just gonna go over it first of all let me say that it turned out to be a pretty good fight the undercard was not that good to me um i usually don't go over undercards but prescott got knocked out he's done um Timothy Bradley didn't look too good against Kasama, or I'm going to give him benefit of doubt and say it's because he, he's been in, inactive. Now let's move on to the main event. Marquez, in my opinion, was robbed this fight. Let me say that off off uh, the first thing I say. I had that, that fight. I, I only had Manny Pacquiao winning three rounds. Um, how a judge could have it one have it a draw and, one, and, the, and the other two judges had it the way they had it is bullshit. You can't they are they're on the payroll i don't care who had who disagrees with me manny pacquiao i was closing manny pacquiao was getting beat he looked it tired he looked it winded he looked vulnerable we heard all the excuses marquez doesn't carry weight good um so my question to all those people that says he doesn't carry weight good let's see floyd fought him two years ago dominated him every round of every second and knocked him down because i know pac tarts like to bring that up he couldn't even knock him out Pacquiao fights him two years later. He can't knock him down. He can't knock him out. He can't land solid on him. And <clears throat> he goes the whole 12 rounds with him. So, in my honest opinion, is there a need for a Floyd Mayweather Manny Pacquiao fight? In my opinion, I'm more intrigued by a Manny Pac I mean, a, a Floyd Mayweather Marquez fight at this point. Because Marquez did his motherfucking thing out there tonight. He looked good. He boxed good. He countered the shit out of Manny. He frustrated Manny. Manny couldn't land on him. I mean, he dominated Manny. Even if you're the biggest Pacquiao fan on the planet, you can't possibly tell me that you think Manny Pacquiao won tonight's fight. It just didn't happen. He, it just didn't happen. And if I was Marquez, I wouldn't have wanted to do an interview either. I wouldn't want to talk to anybody because I would feel like I was robbed for the third time. He won the first fight, but okay, I can go with a draw. He won the second fight clearly, and then this one he won even clearer. This this decision right here is worse than the Paul, the the what is it, Edison Lara versus Paul Williams. This is worse than that because this was a clear cut robbery. This was just a a, a fucking robbery. There's no way he won this fight. Is there any? I mean, I, I would like people to comment in the in the comment box. What did Manny Pacquiao do to win this fight? This is the same guy that Floyd handled. So my my I just I honestly at this point I think that Manny Pacquiao has lost his bargaining tool. There there it didn't there doesn't need to be a 50-50. You didn't look good this fight. You were you you lost this fight. You lost the fight, you didn't look good, you didn't land anything, you didn't knock him down, you didn't do anything. Floyd beat him easy. Floyd made Marquez look like a sparring partner. Marquez made you look like a sparring partner. You get where I'm going with this, people? And 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 I just, you know, I just, in all, in my honesty, I don't, I don't even want to see a Floyd Manny Pacquiao fight because I see a total domination. Manny will be stopped. Manny will be stopped. If you don't think Floyd's going to stop Manny, you're crazy. He couldn't hit Marquez. Marquez D is nowhere near Floyd's. Marquez was hitting him with that counter right hand all night. Floyd's counter right hand is better than Marquez. Manny Pacquiao couldn't could barely hit Marquez clean. He barely could touch him. I just I, I don't know. I really want to hear some of you guys' input because as it stands, I'm convinced without a shadow of a doubt that if Floyd fights Pacquiao, he's going to dismantle him. He's going to dismantle him. He's going to destroy him. It's going to look like Manny shouldn't even be there. He's going to make, what did Carcino say? He's going to make Manny Pacquiao look like Bobby Pacquiao. You know, I know, I know low blow blow. <laughs> I mean, this is, this, I'm really pissed off, man, for real. This is fucked up because I, I thought, I thought Marquez won. Let me see. I gave Pacquiao three rounds. Um, I thought Marquez run a good six or seven rounds clearly. He and uh, I just I can't see how they gave that fight to Pacquiao. All honesty, he wasn't aggressive enough. He just 
and, and anybody notice that? Where was this speed? You notice we didn't see that speed tonight, right? What's the excuse? The legs still hurt? I'm waiting on the excuses. What? The legs still hurt. They're still cramping. Um, it was the gloves. It was the shoes. What was it? Was why was it? You know why you didn't see speed? Simple. Marquez took it away from him. What did? What did anybody watch? About, what did Roger Mayweather say about speed? What is what beats speed? Timing. Marquez had Pacquiao's timing. It neutralized his speed. Marquez moved to 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 Pac, I mean to Pacquiao's left. It neutralized him. Mar Pacquiao in, at times in the ring looked like he didn't even know what the hell to do. And what did we see again? We saw the same type of Pacquiao that we saw eight years ago. So what changed about Pacquiao? We saw the same thing. He didn't change. You know what changed? His style of opponents. That's what changed about Mar That's what changed about Pacquiao. The style, the style, the style of opponents has changed, because we saw the same Pacquiao we saw seven years ago when they fought the second time, and ten years ago when they fought the first time. Straightforward, no angles because they don't work. Marquez is not, he moves with you. He's not going to stand there like a Cotto. Cotto's a flat-footed fighter. Marquez Margarito's a flat-footed fighter. Shane Mosley has never had speed, lower speed. He's always been fast upper. His hands have been fast. His feet are not. So when he, so when he, so when Pacquiao, bam, 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 shoots off his combinations and they cover up, he can pivot to the left or pivot to the right. He can sidestep. He can use an angle. But Marquez moves. I'm not going to let you do that. So in closing, Bob Arum, you're a fucking bitch. Top rank. You should be ashamed of yourself. Pacquiao know he didn't win that fight. If you look at his face, he has the same type of reaction that he had the second fight. The second fight, you know why he started crying? He started crying because it was one of the moments like Timothy Bradley and fucking, um, who was that that uh, knocked, that chin checked his ass? I can't think of his name. But when he, when he, when he knocked him down, um, it was like when they said his name, he was, oh shit, thank you, Jesus, I won. Because he didn't think he was going to win. You know, it was one of those, those, oh my God, thank you, I won. You know, I, I was praying that I, you know, I win. He, and he looked the same way tonight. He didn't look confident. He looked like he, he thought he lost that fight. I don't care what anybody. He thought he lost tonight's fight. So, Marquez, hold your head up because you deserve the win. You won. Hold your head up, man. I, I, feel, I'm, I'm, I feel disgusted as an American. I feel like I owe you an apology. So, Marquez, this is my apology from True Boxing to you. Sorry that these fucking bitches and this motherfucking top rank cheated you and did not give you the victory i apologize man but you did good you beat pacquiao for a second time in my book clearly all right true boxing rate comment subscribe talk shit i talk shit back get at your